Hello, here we are in phase three of creating the World Cup soccer field using the U Stripe and the design tool. Let me recap the first couple stages first before we get started. First stage, what we did, we prepped the walls and I put used a dark green and put a base coat on the wall. The second stage, we used the new stripe tool. We had decided on a 12 inch stripe going vertical. I went left to right and I chose the lighter green for that stripe. Today, we're actually gonna do the soccer field. Now looking at the wall, the size of the portrait that we have in this area, and I had thought maybe for the side lines, that's where we'll start off first. We'll go from top to ceiling, the top side lines, I'll go from the ceiling to the side line by nine inches. And then I thought from the bottom, from the trim on the floor to the sideline, we'll do 12 inches. So let's work on the sidelines first, and then we can work with the middle of it as we continue on, okay? So let's get to work. Prior to start off the sideline, again, I just want to emphasize that using delicate tape is very important when you're creating your designs. You can see how crisp these lines turned out with no bleeding using this tape. It's very important. What I did is I actually wrapped up around these two sides some tape so the tool sits up on the wall and I'll show you how I did that later on okay but I'm level here it's nine inches and we're gonna head this way so now since I don't have to worry about the tool I'm able to concentrate very delicately pop this off I'm going to make sure I'm all on the left side at the bottom still level here and I'm going to continue on with the tape Look how easy this is. No time at all. Still level. A little pressure. There we go. Top of the sideline finish. Now we'll be back. We'll do the bottom. All right. We finished with the sidelines. And from looking at, judging how the field's going to be, as you can see, I'm going to take where the other 12 inch stripe is, from 12 inches off my woodwork here and off the wall at the end, where the goal line's going to be. So, what I had done. I had just placed the tool where it's level, right here, stuck it to the wall, and this is going to be the goal line. It really helps, it's really easy when it sticks to the wall by itself, nice and gentle. Come down here, make sure you're on at the top where you left off at, your level. Stick it, keep moving down the wall. Cannot get any easier than this.
So far, so good. I know it looks like I have a lot of things going on. Tool, tool, tape, but actually it's the same thing all in one. What we have to do to finish the chalk line, I'm going to use this side here, okay? One of these arms is two inches, the, the top and the bottom one. Now, what I had done, I had purchased two of these, so I have one already disassembled, okay? It just makes it easier because I'm on a lot more jobs, and, it, and that's just how it makes it easier for you. So instead of taking all this apart, I have two, and this one's disassembled, and this is the one I'm going to use. But if you only have the one, all you have to do is take it apart and get just the arm of the tool. That's what we're going to use next. I have it taped off already, so it's got the two-way sticky tape. Again, it's two inches, so I'm going to come up here on the sideline that I already have. And I'm going to make sure that the tape, the top part, is here. So this is one inch, two inch. I'm going to do another one inch using a one inch tape. And then I'm going to have a one inch white sideline mark going around. You can see we're finished with the outline of the field. I have a one inch chalk line, which is going to be my white paint that I'm going to paint this in in a few minutes. Prior to that, we have to do the center line. So what I had thought, counting off the stripes, this is the stripe in the middle. These are 12 inch stripes. So what I did already with using the ruler at the end of the tool, it goes from 1 to 12. I had marked off 6 inches, put a piece of tape there. 6 inches, put a piece of tape. 6 inches, did the same with the bottom with the tape. Using the arm of the tool, what I'm going to do now, since I know this is on 6 inches, I am going to go to the far side, make sure it's level, which it is, stick it on, and I'm going to put a tape here, then I'm going to put a piece of tape here, and it's going to leave me with the, with the inch in the middle for the 6 inches for the center line. Alright, we'll be back. Another part that we have to think about when we do the field, as you can see, I have the outline already, okay? I'm going to use a wallpaper knife, razor blade, or you could use a regular razor blade. What you have to do then, very carefully, you don't want to go too far into the drywall, just barely cut the corners, and what you're doing is just cutting the tape. When you cut the tape, this is so the paint can keep going. Continue to sideline. Very easy, see? Now what I'm going to try to do are the goal lines. We'll be back. 